the Royal News Network, bringing you round-the-clock coverage of all things royal. I'm Catherine Higgins. And I'm Catherine Burr. That's right, everyone in our staff is named after the Duchess of Cambridge. For the Duchess of Cambridge is the only name we can recognize as royal watchers. I don't even remember my birth name. <laughs> Today we're in California, the United States, where American King James Ivory has died. Mm. James Ivory, known affectionately to Americans as Uncle Phil was a relation to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. We are outside the Briggs Mansion where support is divided between the elder supporter, Mr. Will Smith, and the bank's heir, the uh, younger, ya Carlton Banks. Rest assured, their struggle for power is both hilarious and heartwarming. Supporters of the Fresh Prince movement have just arrived, and they are sending quite the message. As was clearly established in the initial seasons of the Fresh Prince's reign, Carlton Banks is just not black enough to reign. But can we ignore the Fresh Prince's criminal record? Was he not arrested for numerous outstanding parking tickets? Oh, sweetheart, life goes on and on, come on. Plus, he hosted a lot of other royal dignitaries. What royal dignitaries? He hosted Queen Latifah. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> that does not excuse stealing a car, uh, trouble with marijuana, abandoning his cousin in MacArthur Park. Listen, listen, listen. All of these sitcom-esque situations were solved. And the Fresh Prince gave a royal apology for each of these, all right? Within 22 minutes of the, the predicament, all right? So if you'll excuse me now, I've got to bounce. See you later. Woo! <laughs> But will the royal family get flipped turned upside down? Let's take a royal look, a further look at the outsider challenging the throne. In West Philadelphia, he was born and raised. On the playground is where he spent most of his days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool. He was shooting some b-ball outside of the school where the famed altercation took place that ultimately led to his ascension as the French Prince of Bel-Air. A special thanks to our producer, Catherine, who put that package together. <laughs> oh, uh, this just in. Seems as though Prince Carlton's supporters have just mobilized. Mm, why, I have not seen that type of choreographed moment since Michael Flatley's Lord of the Dance. Hmm, it seems as if they, oh, here they come. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow. Ah. Looks as if we have dial tapping. They sure are. Oh. The People's Fresh Prince versus Carlton Banks. It's a power struggle no one saw coming. Well, actually, Carlton, we've been building up to it for the past 18 hours. <laughs> Who will walk away with the nation's collective arm? Oh. Uh, excuse me, Catherine, but I'm actually getting breaking news from London. Turns out Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, has bought the ticket to Anchorman 2. That's right, you heard it here. She is going to see Anchorman 2. Oh, well, will she purchase a soda? And what will she eat first? A mic or a like? All that and more after the break. Ta-ta. <laughs> 